I'm sure you've heard. They say there's good in goodbye, but there's also hell in hello too. Whew, what are you going to do when you need to shift from X to next? Up next, let's talk about it. It's going to be a hot conversation. Going to be a lot of hard truth alerts. Stick and stay. Let's mix it up. You know how we do it. All the way up. You are doing well, well, we're going to get into this conversation. I want to talk from X to next, the good in goodbye. They can't spell goodbye without good. Can't spell hello without hell too. <laughs> Sometimes we have said hello to the wrong one and goodbye to the right one. Isn't that interesting? The good one had too many green flags. But the bad one had enough red flags that we liked. Come on, tell the truth, shame the devil. What what'd they say? Throw something in the crowd. The one who yells ouch is the one who got hit. If you can't say amen, say a say ouch. <laughs> right? And a lot of us, we want to shift to next. But in our mind, in our psyche, in our brain, and in our heart, it's still the X. You know what? You're not with him. You're not with her. But they're still with you. Yeah, they're, they're gone physically. But they show our present. And when you talk about them, they're present and how you feel about them. They're present in your emotions. They're present in your attitude. They're present in, their, in, in your actions. Absolutely. Simply because you, to a certain degree, confuse the soulmate with the soul tie. And now, you're just wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up. Here's the thing, how selfish of you to bring the new one when your heart is still with the old one, <laughs> right? Come on, because here's what you want the, you, here's what you want the person to do. You want the new person to heal the old person. You want the new person to heal your old feelings. That's what you want. I realize this. Relationships are like boarding an airplane. Too much baggage is going to cost you. And in many cases, what we have boarded onto our plane is not necessarily baggage. It's garbage. And the baggage has become garbage. Certain things that should be testimonies. We've retained. We've maintained. And now... That abscess starts to stinking. Yeah, it's, it's, it's become like milk that's spoiled. It's just spoiled rotten. Don't let the pain from an ex prevent you from receiving love from your next. That's what you can't do. It didn't work out right. Why? Because they were the wrong one. 
Found the type CPR. Type CPR. Type CPR. That's what I want you to stop doing. I want you to start liking this video. Yeah, st start doing that. Can we start liking this video? Colorful community. Thank you for the super chat, super stickers that you've been giving. Continue to give. Become a YouTube member. But here's the thing. Didn't work out right because they were the wrong one. As you type CPR, that's what I want you to stop doing. Stop giving CPR to dead relationships. Come on, I need you to free yourself. Free your mind and the rest will follow. In vogue. Stop giving CPR to dead relationships. Give it a eulogy. Write the epitaph. Chart your life on a new path. You know what? Continually rehearsing what your ex didn't do, how your ex didn't love you, is like rereading the same chapter over and over and over again. You know how it's going to end. But you want to stick and stay in the same place, in the same space. From what it is from that X. And you're praying that God gives you a next. God is not going to bless you with the next until you let go of the now. <laughs> Here's what we want to do. We want to hold on to now while reaching for next. Well, well, I want to hold on to both because if one don't work, at least I can go to one. And now the X becomes a break glass in case of fire. Why? Because here's the thing. The devil that you don't know is better that the devil that you do know is better than the one that you don't know. And so now you've settled for devilish behavior. You've settled for here it is demon time. <laughs> Come on. You said for all that stuff it didn't work out right because they were the wrong one. Here's what your ex is. Here's what your ex was. Your ex is an example. Come on, family, type example. Your ex is an example of what it is that you don't need. Your ex is an example of how it is that you have outgrown. Your ex is an, is an example of what it is that you don't have to settle for. The ex is an example of how to let go to grow. A lot of us don't mind staying stuck because stuck feels good. Stuck feels good. Stuck at least came with a few trinkets. Stuck at least came with some heels and some bags. Stuck at least came with some clothes. Stuck at least came with some cash apps. Stuck like Chuck in a pickup truck. Stuck at least came with some vacations. Well, Stuck ain't so bad after all. I know they talk to me. I know they mistreat me. I know they abuse me and misuse me. But at least I get some good parting gifts. Stop it. Really, listen, listen to yourself. D do you see the excuses that you're making to stay stuck and stagnant and stifled and stymied? Do you hear you? What did I say last time? I said your prayer should be this. God show me me. And this is what this is this is what we want we want God to do. 
we want God to show us our next. But God ain't going to show you your next until he first shows you you, until you decide to look at what he's showing you. God's showing you you, and you look at all the way over here. I, 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 don't, I really don't want to look at it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, no. Come on, come on, sis. Come on, bro. I need you to look at you. And you're looking all the way over here. You're looking all the way back here. Looking all the way in the back. And that's why you're headed in that direction. You hustling backwards. Have you, have you ever seen... You, you like the Mo Money, Mo Problems video. When I believe it's, it's Biggie driving a car and he's, he's going in reverse the whole time for like two, three minutes. One sixty swiftly. Record by a root new one. Your crew run, run, run. Your crew run, run. And that's what you've been doing. You've been wrecking relationship after relationship after relationship. Why? Because you keep going in reverse. Here's what you do. You rehearse reverse. It's it's like you playing Uno. Reverse back to me. Reverse back to me. Rever Matter of fact, it ain't even reverse back to me. Reverse back to the ex. Because you refuse to be uno. You refuse to be one with yourself. You refuse to be one with God. One is a whole number. The problem is you keep choosing out of your pain. You keep choosing out of your past simply because you're not healed for your future. You feel as if you need somebody to complete you. Hey, nobody completes you. Only God does that. I remember watching the movie Jerry Maguire, played by Tom Cruise. Cuba Gooding Jr. was in it. Cuba Gooding, like Cuba Gooding, I don't know how do you pronounce it. But he was in it. Jerry Maguire is in this romantic relationship, or looking that it is blossoming into that. His love interest says to him one time, I believe it was after a date, and she says to, to him, whispering these sweet words. You complete me. Oh, isn't that, isn't that so lovely? Isn't that so beautiful? She says to, to him, Jerry, you complete me. I mean, somebody passed me the tissue. I got an issue. Beautiful. But here's the thing. Sometimes those sweet words are sweet nothings. Because nobody can complete you, only God does that. Nobody can complete you, but here's what they can do. They can compliment you. And I'm not just talking about C-O-M-P-L-I-M-E-N-T. Girl, those are bad shoes. Girl, you look girl, you look so good, I wish I could plant you and grow a whole field of y'all. Y'all don't know nothing about fresh prints. Bruh, you clean it in a board of health. Sis, you're looking beautiful. Bruh, you're looking handsome. That's a compliment, but I'm talking about C-O-M-P-L-E-M-E-N-T. That's a fit. Suitability goes beyond just attractability. Why? Because just because they're attractive doesn't mean you're compatible, much less suitable. Biologically, you're compatible. Value-wise, you're not suitable. Are you hearing me? And what I have to discover, I have to discover beyond more than just a particular person, I have to look at the pattern. You're attracted to people, but what about patterns? And here's what we have done. We have classified preference over purpose. Right. Sometimes your type is the reason why you're single. You're focused on your type, but what about your kind? Preference, type. Yeah, you want her to be a certain height. You want her to be a certain physical display. 
You want to have certain curves? You want them to have all these specific accoutrements on the outside. Preference, type. But here's the thing, what about your kind? Kind speaks a purpose. Kind is value system. Kind are beliefs. Kind are expectations. Kind are boundaries. These are the things that you cannot quantify. These are things that you cannot necessarily castigate and put in a particular box based upon what you see from the outside. I'm talking about from the inside out. I'm not just talking about the material self. I'm talking about the immaterial self. The things that you cannot put a price on because this person is priceless. Are you hearing me? To be in a position to receive the right one. When, listen to me, what I said, receive. Why? Receiving the right one is receiving a gift. A gift wrapped in human form. Not a gift trapped, a gift wrapped. Why? Because when you get to realize who this person is, you see the beauty in them. You see the value in them. You hear their dreams. You hear their ambitions. You hear about their intuition. You hear about their, you see their character. You hear about their relationship with God. And don't just hear about it in words. You see it in actions. You see it in works. Because it works. can be in love and still not be in purpose to be in a position to receive the right one here's what you have to do you have to disconnect from the wrong one you got to stop projecting the issues from from past relationships onto people who also have nothing to do with it the hurt that you're experiencing now you're trying to bring it into a new relationship and you still haven't healed so now you believe the next is going to treat you like an ex simply because in between that chasm, between the ex and the next, you never really did the transformative healing that you needed to do. So here's what happens. The person who's the next, which should be a blessing, you now curse. The curse is from the lack of healing. Sometimes your experience with the wrong one can set you up for a blissful, blessed one with the right one, but only by taking the time to heal. When I take the time to heal, this is what I do. I'm allowing myself to take the time and space to be alone. Oh, we hate that word. Come on, family, type, type healing. Gotta heal you. Gotta allow God to heal you. You don't heal being around everybody. You don't heal going out on a new date week after week after week after week. You don't feel you don't heal by surrounding yourself with bodies, being a busybody, but never being really anybody. You heal by taking the time to be alone. Alone does not mean lonely. You take the time to heal by allowing yourself to isolate. Sometimes you have to isolate to elevate. When I'm going to another level, when I'm going to the next level, here's what I got to do. I got to isolate in order to elevate. Because if I don't take the ice, if I don't take the time to isolate and elevate, I'll never be able to appreciate and value who God is bringing into my life. Listen, you got to do this for you. Here, here's the thing. Many times when we talk about healing, it's healing ourselves just for the other person. I want you to heal you for you. Who am I talking to? I hope it's you. I don't want you to just heal for somebody else. I want you to heal for you. You're the somebody.
Because here's the thing. If you're only healing to get somebody, you'll go back to the last somebody. Why? Because it was vanity metrics. It really wasn't transformative. It really wasn't substantive. You're just trying to fill a quota. Well, I'm going to kind of heal. No, I'm talking about transformative healing that has nothing to do with anybody. But it's you becoming the real somebody that God wants you to become. Just because they were blind to your value doesn't mean you have to be blind to yours. I need to take the blinders off. The blinders are just looking at preference. The blinders are just looking at your type. And I want you to put on some fresh vision. Come on, family, type vision. Visionaries see beyond what they see to transform their, re their reality. Visionary will see in them what everybody else may not see in them. A visionary will see for them what everybody else may not want for them. A visionary is going to see more and before. Don't sabotage your next because you haven't healed from your ex. Listen, I'm on to the next one. I got a special message for you. I want you to stick and stay. More is coming your way. More breakthrough on the other side of this break. Trust me, after these messages, I'm coming right back. Are you an author or aspiring author interested in building your book? Do you want to develop as a speaker and communicator? Listen, check out my array of solutions and systems, like my bestseller book, Blueprint, and successful speaker strategies. Explore my tailor-made programs designed to nurture your purpose and grow your greatness in order to increase your ideas, your impact, and your influence. Visit us today at theeaglesacademy.com forward slash store so you can soar. Family, we're talking about from X to next. That's what we're talking about. The good and goodbye. Yes, y'all, and we don't stop. I want you to heed, heed to those resources that you heard. You know, right here, back to the word. Sometimes your experience with the wrong one sets you up for the right one. Why? Because the right one will see what the wrong one was blind to. When it's the right one, love won't be the question. It will be the answer. Bernice King, the daughter of the late great, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had a book. She has a book. Hard Questions, Heart Answers. Let me say that twice because it's also nice. Hard Questions, Heart Answers. The substratum of yes of the book dealt with racial injustice, what we need to do to save our communities, how we all need to come together. But in many cases, it also delved into the whole aspect of disrupting comfort. Because here's the thing, many of us don't challenge ourselves to ask hard questions, to really deal with truth unfurled to really deal with the hard things of life we want life to be easy for you leaving your ex maybe for you it wasn't necessarily easy healing maybe it wasn't necessarily easy but many of us do not challenge ourselves by being able to answer and much less ask ourselves tough questions what is it that I really want out of life? How have I healed? What level of healing do I need to get to? What more healing do I need to do if I have not done any at all or if I've just done a little bit of it? 
What are really my pain points? Yes, I know what I want out of this particular person, but what also, what also am I what what also am I able to provide? I got a four-page letter, like Aaliyah, and I enclosed it with a kiss of what it is that I want. But you can't get past four lines of what it is that you can give. Hmm? Have you even taken enough time between the last one and the next one? Because here's the thing, if you don't heal, you will find yourself in a new relationship with the same old philosophy. In many cases, maybe it's a different face, but keeps you in the same place. Asking yourself, who in the world did I just connect to? Worst thing to do is to heal in a relationship. Yeah, you got to heal in the relationship. When in many cases, the time of you being alone should be a place for you to actually do the healing. Now, there's some healing that, yeah, it might still take place in a different relationship, but it shouldn't be to the extent to where now you're bleeding on somebody who didn't cut you. Yeah, there's going to be a different side of you that's unveiled by being with somebody. But you shouldn't be such a pain to deal with. Hard questions, hard answers. What is the state of my attitude? Why am I continually always triggered? Ah, it might be because I'm not healed in this particular area. HTA, come on family, type HTA. Hard truth alert. We're having an HTC, hard truth conversation. For many of us, relationships for like us is as if we're playing in the NBA. Yeah, don't just stand for the National Basketball Association, the National Broken Association. Because here's all, what we do. All we do is rebound. We shoot our shot and we rebound. We rebound from relationship to relationship. We never listen to our heavenly coach. And so this is what we do. All we do is surround ourselves with players. Rather than executing what it is that our coach wanted us to do. Sometimes here's, the, well, here's, here's what the coach has to do. He's got to sit you on the bench. Yeah, you take a seat. You're not even executing the right play anymore. Your head is not even in the game. I got to sit you on the bench. I got to put you in timeout. Maybe that's what you need to do with your heart. Put your heart in timeout. Put your mind in timeout. Put your spirit, put your soul, put your mentality in timeout. I need a T.O. I need a timeout. Time out from the hurt that I continue to put myself through. Here it is. Maybe it's not them damaging you. Maybe it's you damaging you. Maybe it's not them hurting you. Maybe it's you hurting you. Maybe that's what it is. got to ask yourself that why do I continue to put myself in particular situations over and over and over again maybe it is that pain elicits a level of proximity to that which you enjoy When it's the right one, love won't be the question. It's going to be the answer. And here's what we have to do. What am I doing to become the right one for the right one? And the right one, I have to be first right for myself before I'm ever right for somebody else. 
Becoming the right one for the right one first begins with me. I gotta let the hurt, I gotta let the pain, I gotta let the baggage go. Or my relationships will never grow. I'll never grow. That's that emotional intelligence. That's that relational intelligence. That is the healing interpersonally from your core. That's the healing that you deserve and so much more. Come on, family, type more. More. I can't expect somebody to give me what I won't give myself. You want love, but she won't give it to you. You want healing, but she won't give it to you. You want joy, but you won't put your place, you won't put yourself in a place to receive it. From X to next is not just physical, is mental. Why? Because you're becoming the example. That says, listen, I refuse to be better. I refuse to be bitter because better is coming. When I refuse to be bitter because better is coming, that means here's what I'm, I'm willing to do. I'm willing to bless and release what was never meant to last. I don't want you to just bless and release the ex. I want you to bless and release the old you that was connected to that ex. Ah, there it is. Yeah. You come out of the relationship with the ex, but you're still the same person. You're delivered, but you're not healed. I don't want you to just release the ex. I want you to release all of you that was connected to them that made you that particular type of iteration of that person. That made you that particular version. The hurt you. The narcissistic you. The gaslit you. The TNT trauma and triggered you. The infected you. Can't marry your future until you divorce your past. And here's the thing. Yeah, there's good and goodbye. Sometimes there's hell and he hello. But here's what, here's what it is. When you're healed, you won't wish hell on them. You won't wish them hell. You'll wish them well. When you find, I need you to understand me, the good in goodbye, here's what you can do. You can look back and laugh at the past. <laughs> I can't believe I was that silly. Ha! I can look back and laugh because I don't take myself so serious, seriously that I can't just look back at my past and laugh. They lost the best in me. But it was, it was a setup to experience the blessed for me with the right one that God has for me who's going to be a purpose partner with me. Family type purpose partner. Come on, type purpose partner purpose partner means this I'm in partnership with my purpose because I can't expect God to give me a purpose partner if I have not first partnered with my purpose you so focused on a person but why aren't you focused on your purpose you're in this place you're in this particular season for a reason in your singleness why to roll up your sleeves to be working your purpose You'll always feel worthless if you're not working your purpose. Why? Because you put, your, you put your worth in a person, but not in your purpose. So hear me. When they're gone, your purpose is gone too. Because your purpose was connected to a person. Am I making it make sense? Is the math mathing? I need you to recognize your, pers your purpose doesn't come from a person. Your purpose comes from recognizing that you are a person. You've been uniquely designed with a purpose in mind. Yeah, they lost the, they lost the best in you. But it was a setup to re receive the blessed that God has for you. When you look back, you're thankful for the, you're thankful. 
for the lessons in your past because your future brought about greater blessings. You have to leave your past where it is, in the past. You can't change it. You can't rewind it. Why are you rehearsing it? Why are you rehearsing it and rewinding it in your mind? You can't undo what's been done. You can only get better as a result of it. Come on, you got to wipe those tears. You got to stop blaming yourself. You, you got to stop victimizing yourself. Come on, you got to stop. You got to stop holding things over your head. When God put it under your feet, you got to stop allowing people to hold things over your head when God put it under your feet. Got to recognize this. Some people are only part of your history, but not a part of your destiny. Yeah, I got to leave you in my history because my destiny is waiting for me. My, my destiny, I need you to hear me, is waiting on the healed me. Because when the healed me shows up, my destiny purpose partner shows up. When the loved me, when the becoming the right one for the right one shows up, when the purpose partner, as I partner with my purpose, shows up, then what I'm expecting, what I'm praying for, what I've been fasting for, what I'm believing God to deliver that and more shows up. Come on, family type show up. The purpose partner shows up when you show up for you. When you show up in your own life, the purpose partner shows up in your life. Hard truth alert. Family type HTA. Hard truth alert. We're doing some, we're doing some spiritual surgery right here. Doing some surgery right here. Working on that which is from within. You know how to get dressed up. You know how to get dolled up. You know how to get your hair whipped, dip fried, dyed, laid to the side. You know how to get your nail done, hair done, everything that you fancy, huh? You know how to be a smooth operator in a suit. You know how to get crispy at the barbershop. If I do say so myself. Hmm? You know how to look good. But in many cases internally, you still don't feel any good. You know how to play the role. But have you done spiritual surgery on your soul? Because here's the thing. When you have not done so, this is, what you're, this is what you continue to do. You continue to recycle what God is trying to replace. Hard truth alert. Stop recycling what God is replacing. Stop going back to what God delivered you from. And here's what you got to do. You have to start preparing for the one that God is preparing for you. Maybe here's the thing. The person that God has for you is already ready, but you not. Lord, I'm, I'm praying that you keep my purpose partner away from any woman or you keep him away from any man. Amen. Hey, woman. Hey, man. They already ready. God said, you ain't waiting on me. I'm waiting on you. Are you willing to do the work that you need to do to receive the gift that God has for you? Why? Because the right man or the right woman is going to blow your mind. You're not going to blow up in a heated argument and a debate. Why are we arguing? This ain't the great debaters. Why do we keep going back and forth? We're going back and forth, but we're not growing forth. The right one that God has for you, this time is not going to be a mismatch. Your heart's going to make the perfect match. Don't mean everything is going to always be 
right doesn't mean everything is always going to be 100%. But here's the thing, you're going to give 100%. Everybody has frailties. Human beings. God ain't blessing you with no angel. No, you got to look at life from a different angle. You want God to bless with you. You, you, want, you want God to bless you with an angel. But you got horns under your halo. Make it make sense. Why am I expecting from someone that which I have not become on my own? I am out of alignment. I expect you to deliver what I don't have the capacity to deliver. Hello. I want you with an 800 credit score, but my credit score is at the floor. I got to be in alignment. Ethically misaligned. What am I willing to do the work on me? I'm working on my countenance. I'm working on my character. I'm working on my credit. I'm working at, on my core, body, mind, soul, spirit. I'm not going to be one dimensional because I don't want my purpose partner to be one dimensional. I want them to be multidimensional. Don't you think I need to be too? Come on, family, type multidimensional. Multidimensional. Got to release your past so you can embrace your future. Why? Because when there's a divine love connection, no one can separate the state of your perfect union. Got to have the courage. Come on, family. I just need you to type courage. 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 Got to have the courage to say goodbye to the past so you can say hello to your future. Here's what we want to do. We want to say hello to the future while holding on to the past. Drop it. Courage says, I'll trust God when I can't trace him. I'll trust God not to return to my ex when I'm feeling lonely. I'll trust God not to return to my ex when I've gone out on a date simply because I'm comparing everybody else to them, to him, to her. And maybe my type was the reason why I'm single now. Come on, courage. Or will I be discouraged? It takes courage. Do I have enough courage to trust God? Do I have enough courage to believe that he will do exceedingly abundantly above all that he that I can ask or think? Do I have enough courage that I can trust God? Do I have enough courage that says, listen, my purpose is to develop my relationship with God and do what it is that he's called me to do. Everything else is a bonus. Woo! The relationship is a bonus. The marriage is a bonus. But the healing is a necessity. Who God brings into your life in a relationship and a marriage is a benefit. But he's the necessity. Do I want just what's in his hand? Or do I really want God's heart? Because here's the thing. When I want God's heart, the person that God has for me 
will have to seek God's heart to get my hand. But many of us just want to treat God like a break glass in case of fire. We just want to treat God as if, he, as if he's a genie in Aladdin. We focused on Disney, but not destiny. Yeah, to where you rub the Bible three times and you expect God to give you three wishes. No, I wish that you heal. I wish that you isolate. I wish that you realize that being alone does not mean that you're lonely because God makes you one with him. And in my alone time should all be, should be a time of growth. My alone time should be a time of healing. And my alone time should be my time of purging and processing and purifying. My alone time should be a time of learning and developing and ingratiating myself in who it is that I am and who God has called me to be. My alone time should be the time of creating healthy boundaries. In my alone time, it should be the time of where I'm forgiving. In my alone time, it should be the time where I'm analyzing my relationships. In my alone time, in my time of solitude, it should be the time to where I get silent. Because silence can always be so loud. And I need to deal with the things that are so loud, so that, is, that are pressing in my life. My alone time should be the time where I'm looking at my mother wounds and my father wounds, my brother wounds and my sister wounds. And how I find wisdom from my wounds. Singleness is not a curse. Singleness is not a scar. Singleness in many cases should mean that you have a standard. It should mean that you're satisfied. It should mean that you're selective. Come on, family, type selective. Everybody can't get in my space. Everybody can't get in my place. Why? Because my space and my place is that of peace. It's that of healing. It's that of transformation. Is that of truth. Is that of transparency. It is that of vulnerability. Why? Because I'm growing through what I went through. I'm no good for anybody else unless I'm good for myself. I owe my, I, I need you to hear me. You owe your purpose partner the healed you. Not the recycled you. You owe who God has for you. The refreshed you, the reinvigorated you, the renewed you, the best you, the blessed of you. You owe your purpose partner the you that transformed generational trauma into generational truth and blessings. That silenced the stigma of shame. That's the you that you owe them. But you'll never do it for them unless you first do it for you. Come on, family, type, it's for me. Before it's ever for them, it's first for you. This is what I want you to do. I want you to say hello to your future by saying goodbye to your past. The courageous you is for you. The developed you that God has for you is for you. The anointed you. The ministry version of you. The greatness of you. The industry leader. That's you. I want you to sow into the renewed you today. 
We're just so into the re renewed you because God is making a way out of no way. Yeah. Once you sow into your next, why? Because I believe your next is now. Yeah. I believe your next is now. You've been praying, you've been hoping, you've been wishing, you've been fasting, you've been believing, you've been working, you've been waiting. But I believe your next is now in the making. Come on, family, type my next is now. I, I, I believe it for you. I congratulate you even in advance. Why? Because the engagement is coming. The fiance is coming. The purpose partner is coming. The next is now. It's in the making. Your season of suddenly is right here. Yeah, season of suddenly. How did that happen? When did that happen? How in the world did that happen to you? Season of suddenly. I'm popping out. Popping out with a promotion. Popping out with a ring. Popping out. To a new level. My next is now. It's my now season. I want you to sow into your next. I want you to get a, a, a seed that expresses your next is now. Some of you may be $20. Some of you may be $5. Maybe $10. It may be $5, it may be $55. Five is a number of favor. Five is a number of grace. I believe you are the favor that makes a man's life greater. Brother, I believe you are the type of husband that adds value to your future wife's life. I believe God's preparing you for who he's as prepared for you. I want you so into. I want you so into your next being now. You can do that via Cash App, Dollar Sign Access Identity. You can do that via PayPal. You can do that via Zelle as well. Eddie Connor Jr. at Gmail. Super Chat, Super Sticker. This has been a super conversation. I hope it's been a healing and transformative conversation. So via Super Chat, so via Super Sticker as well. I believe your next is now. I'm joining my faith to yours. 30, 60, 100 fold. That God blows your mind. That God blesses you with such a ridiculous blessing that is going to make you laugh. That when you thought it was over for you, God's going to pop out with something new. I believe it's happening for you even now. Come on, family, type now, 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 now. I want you to sow now. I believe God is going to do that which is exceptional in your life. Ah, what a conversation. I hope it's been that which has moved you to a place of transformation. If you're not a member of our Eagles community, go ahead right now. TheEaglesAcademy.com. It's where I coach, it's where I teach, it's where I train, it's where I mentor. It's our private group coaching, private mentorship. Go ahead right now, theeaglesacademy.com. When you get there, I want you to fill out the form. I guarantee you're going to be transformed. Yeah, you're going to be transformed with a number of different transformed eagles that we have. YouTube community. We have some tiers, such as VIP, royalty, OQP. That's why there's this colorful spectrum here, because... These particular individuals have purchased memberships. And, and here's the thing. Membership has its privileges. Got a lot of behind-the-scenes content, empowerment, insight, information, wisdom that I'm sharing with you 
I want you to grab a hold to it. It's not necessarily on this YouTube channel that I'm showing here. It's only for those who are members. So I want you to become a member. Sounds good? Yeah, I thought so too. Go ahead. Family? We've had a show, haven't we? I'm out of time. But you know, In the Mix at Six is not out of truth. Yeah. In the Mix is not out of truth. And so, family, I want you to thank you for rocking with me, riding with me, and rolling with me. Why? Because you know that's just how we roll. Monday through Friday for In the Mix. Each and every single weekday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can watch it live. Head over to the YouTube button that I want you to push, and it is the subscribe button. I want you to tap that subscribe button. I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I said our, because it's more than just my, it's ours. Yeah, our channel. It's not just about I, it's about we. It's not about Me is about us, right? Not I, but us. Not me, but we. So I want you to be a part of our channel. Hit the notification bell as well. Follow me on all the social sites at Eddie Connor Jr. Put some respect on my name, E-D-D-I-E-C-O-N-N-O-R-J-R. If I can help you, if I can serve you in any way, please reach out to me. Looking for a dynamic speaker? Looking for somebody to empower you? Look no further. I'm the man for the job. Whether it's at your conference, your community center, your church, your session, your school, let's make some progression. Invite me via email, info at eddieconnor.com and I would be honored to serve you. Sure, truly, Dr. Eddie, your main man, 100 grand, your brother from another mother. Family has been fun, but you know a brother gotta run. But I want you, yes, you to know that it's been a privilege and a pleasure, a treat and a treasure, a joy beyond measure. But I want you to remember to keep the faith and believe it's going to be bigger, better, and showing up brighter. Peace and a whole lot of love. Keep soaring higher. Let's soar beyond my YouTube channel. If you want something that goes beyond here, you're in for a treat. I have a private mentorship group where I coach, where I teach, and I provide live Q&A insight in our interactive breakout sessions. It's where I challenge you with innovative exercises to develop your skill set, and I provide feedback to foster your growth. We break it all down to build you up in our private Zoom room as we focus on transformative topics with accountability partners who really desire to grow their greatness by soaring into success and greater purpose. Come on. Soar to new heights with us in our Eagles Academy. Get your wings to win. And let's soar into more at theeaglesacademy.com.